everyone. Welcome to Canvas Kids. This week we are going to be painting a spring bunny. So the first thing we are going to do is take a brush and we're going to paint the entire bunny in white. You don't have to be neat about it. You don't have to worry about covering up parts that aren't white. But try to do it nice and thin so there's no big lumps. And just cover the entire bunny. Don't worry about staying in the lines. It doesn't matter for this part. Just to cover the entire bunny. Okay, when the whole bunny is covered, we're going to take some white and blue. I couldn't find my paper plates, so if you have your paper plate, it would be best to do it on there. But, you can dip your brush into the white, and then a little bit into blue, and you want to paint across, side to side, like this. And it's kind of hard right next to the bunny. When you get to the end, you might have to kind of do that. So do the entire background around the bunny. Try to not go over the blue where the ears are. So you can kind of outline those first. And if you have too much blue on your brush and your sky is getting too dark, just dip it back into a lot of white. Or you can wash it off and start over. But remember, the dark goes a long way. So use a lot of white and just a little bit of the blue. I'm going to try to be quick here, so it's going to get a little sloppy on mine. But I just want to do it quick so you guys aren't waiting around. It kind of works out better if you outline it first where the ears are. And then you can kind of go back and fill in between. do it as neat as you can not like me like I said I'm trying to hurry so video isn't really long so just trying to go side to side after you outline the bunny just because it'll look better and if you mix all your blue and your white together, you won't get these streaks. And we like the streaks. That's what we want are the streaks. Okay. All right. 
right. Mine's a little bit messy, but that's okay. I wanted to get it done. All right. I don't think we're, I don't think we're gonna need the biggest brush anymore. Yeah, the real big one. All right, so the next thing is going to be the bunny's ears. So everybody's got the pink, wet my brush. And we're gonna paint the bunny's ears in the middle. if some of the weight is showing through it. It doesn't have to be completely solid. If your weight was still wet and it mixed together, it's fine. Alright, and don't forget to do your little nose in the pink. of it. So either choose blue or green. It's up to you what color you will want your little bunny eyes. And even though this whole thing isn't going to be this color when you're done, it's easier to just go ahead and paint it. And then we'll go back later and put the black on top of it. Oopsie, that was not very neat at all. All right, now I have to make this one bigger because I made that one bigger. Okay. All right. Now we're going to paint the grass. Let's see. I decide to give it a... No, no. Mm, I think that one's too big. I'm going to try this one. So we're going to take green... And we're going to kind of brush up like that. So that way you don't have like a straight line at the top. It'll look more like grass. And you want it to be about an inch and a half, two inches. If you go a little bigger, that's okay. If you go a little smaller, quite all right. Kind of tricky when you get around the bunny part, his little leg, little paw there. But just put it on your brush and just kind of go up like that. So you want the top to be like open, not all exactly straight across. But the bottom, make sure you paint in the bottom. Want that part to be covered in green all the way, just not up higher. And then this side is going to also be a little trickier because of the rabbit leg, this little paw. I'm not going to do that this time. Okay, kind of like that. And then you can go back and you can make some bigger. Parts. Once it's covered on the bottom, you can go back through and you can go up a little bit more if you want. Make it a little longer. And then you also want to do your stem for your dandelion. 
gonna do some leaves. There we go. All right. skinny brush something in between okay so now we're gonna finish off his eyes so take your black paint and we're gonna do his mouth too and try to do a skinny line the skinny brush if you have one and then the same thing circling the eyes And then, if your green or your blue part of your eye is dry, go back in and put the little black part for the pupil. There we go. Get that green on me. Okay. Now, I forgot to have, when I copied the picture, I forgot to put the whiskers in it. So make sure you give your bunny whiskers. See, this one's too skinny for this because it doesn't hold enough paint to go all the way. There we go. Three on each side is enough. If you go any more than that, then it fit as well. Okay. Now while we have the black also, we want to make a little outline on this part of the ear. Turn this around so I could reach it better. It's not all the way around it, it's just kind of a little accent line on part of it. And then take a little bit of white and you kind of want to brighten it on the other side. A little bit of a white line. So I keep ending up with paint on my arm. And also while you have the white, put a little bit across the top of his nose. Looks like the sun is shining on it. Give him a little highlight. Now I'm going to try with my white to kind of hide this line. It's a little hard. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do like we did in the other one. All right. What I did, I, was, I didn't really write it on the instructions because it was kind of hard to explain, but take some white paint and take kind of a round brush and kind of dab it on for the two paws. So they kind of like stick out a little bit better. If your green's not dry, don't do it yet if you're near your green. Because you want to kind of go over it a little bit. You're trying to make his two paws fluffier so they kind of stick out and don't blend into his body. So you kind of want to go over the line a little bit. But don't get green in it like I just did. That's why make sure your green is dry before you do this. Just trying to make his paws show up better. There we go. That's a little better. 
for the fluffier note. And also, to make his head look a little fluffier, take a little white and kind of come out a little bit. Oops, forgot to do this before we did the whiskers. Sorry about that. So just kind of come out a little bit, just to make him look a little fluffy. Same thing with, you could do that on his ears a little bit if you want to like hide this line a little bit. So just kind of make the white hang over a little bit to show that he's fluffy. Okay, so now the last thing is the dandelion. I am going to turn mine around so I could reach the dandelion better. And I'm going to take my skinny brush and see how that one works. If that one doesn't work, I'm going to switch it to the other one. But I'm just going to take plain white and make lines coming out of the dandelion. It's very hard to make a skinny line that's going around like that, but try the best you can. Always start from the middle and work out because you want your outer line to be thinner and the inside line that's close to the middle is where you want it thicker. So you just kind of want it to look kind of like a starburst. You can go over it a couple times back and forth just to get a little filled in better, but yet still have it where it's empty on the end so it shows. Okay, I think that is it. Let me look them over real quick. Make sure I didn't forget anything. Nope. I think that is it. Our bunny is done. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. All right. Thanks for coming, and I will see you next week.